Wednesday here at the shop. Mike's been working hard on the box. Got the patch done on this side now. Just got to do a little bit of cleanup on the welds he's working on. Then he's going to work on the front. As you can see, it's all rotten there. Then of course we're going to tilt the box up on its um on its front panel, and he's going to get underneath there. There's a few things he's got to address underneath. So this box should be all finished being welded up by the end of the week or the very beginning of next week. Then it is on to body work. That is what is next. Yeah. So that is what's happening there. Now if we take a trip, the Mustang's still up on the hoist here. Uh, we're working on other stuff today. We're working on the um, 67 Ford out back. Chris was on that. It's dark out. Five o'clock and it's dark. Doesn't that suck? Anyway, we'll take a look out here. Look at that sky. There was sunshine today. Freezing ass cold, but sunny. But that's all right. I would sooner see that than rain or snow. Just can't stand winter. If I never saw winter again in my life, I wouldn't give a shit. Okay, here we go. So, where's the light? Here we go. So we got the um, inner fenders all on there, rad support, the radiators in. Chris is tidying up, putting all the wires back in, hooking all the wiring back up. Uh, right over here, getting all that done. So this old girl should be running here the end of the week and then we'll get the front fenders on it and then we're getting very close with this one too. Very close. Like I say, this is the next one for paint. Actually, I shouldn't say that. The Model T is next for paint and that's what I'm about to show you in a minute. But then after the Model T, it'll be this. And we are painting the Model T tonight. There, we'll take a look what's going on. Sean's in there masking her up. It's not much to the Model T. Actually, a lot of guys they look at it and they comment. It, 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 when I walk in here, I want you guys to think about this. It kind of looks like Santa Slay. It really does. Let's take a look. There we go. Doors are hanging up. Ready to go. And there it is. Not much to that. Yeah. That's what's that is what's happening there. So Maybe what I'll do is we'll continue this video in a little bit here once Sean gets it all masked up. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll uh, we'll get on to doing some paint work here tonight. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we'll be back in a bit. All right. So our doors are hung up like you just saw. And we are masked. It's all masked off. Now, some people wouldn't mask the inside off. Inside here what we did was we epoxied, primered it, and then we put our texture spray on it. Some people, because you know you're going to end up, you're going to put carpet, you're going to put underlay, you're going to put the dynamat on it, all that. Some people wouldn't even bother covering this up. They'd be like, what for? But we like to mask it anyway. You know, it just makes it look cleaner. When we pull the masking off, you can, you know, you see it looks fresh. And most people, like I say, just let the overspray go in there. That's it. It definitely looks like Santa sleigh, <laughs> especially from this angle. Oh boy. Anyway, so we're gonna get to uh, get the paint in here, get her all sprayed up, and then we will show you what is going on. Okay, there we go. Got her all sprayed up. The customer wanted more of a flatter black than he did a satin. So we tried the best we could get it. I personally like I personally would have wanted it a little more satin on here for me. It's hard, you know, these people come to you and they show you a picture in a book and they say, here's the color I want. It's satin or semi-gloss or whatever, and they don't realize that, you know, it just doesn't all spray out the same. It depends on temperature, how you spray it. It depends on the paint they use, the amount of reducer, the amount of you know everything. 
But anyway, this is what we gave him. This is what he was after. What he saw was he saw some parts here we had, inner fenders we had painted, actually the ones on the 67 Ford pickup. And he said, I don't want those quite as shiny. I don't want my car, I should say, quite as shiny as those fenders, he said. So this is one step down. So I wouldn't say this is completely flat black. It looks like it a bit here in the camera, but if you're actually here in person, it's not. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Well, that's it. She's all sprayed. We'll leave her hardened up a bit. We'll unmask her. And away we go. Away we go. So hopefully he'll like that. So, we'll let her dry up. And then, we will set the body onto the frame and see how it turns out. Alright guys, so here you have it. We have bolted it on. Now the owner is going to take it back and finish it off. So some of you are going to be saying, oh, what's with the yellow frame and all that. And that's up to the owner. But if you go back and watch the very beginning of these videos or look at my Instagram under Rick's underscore Old Time Garage or my Facebook page, you'll remember this thing was just a pile of pieces. The back half was a four-door, the front half was a 23. It's just parts and pieces that Mike put together and built for this guy. And it is really cool because look at the room you've got in here. Like T buckets usually are cramped and tight. This has got a lot of room. Steering's hooked up, doors are on, windshield's all in there where it belongs. I believe the gentleman's going to be building a box for the back. But that's it. That is it. And it's steel. There we go. He's got an all steel little T body. Like I said, I'm not a real, I'm not a Model T fan. I never have been. They're just too cramped and small, but I think they're cool as hell because they're a part of our history and they're neat, especially as a little hot rod, but I would never want one. It's just too cramped for me. But if I had to drive one, and I'm not saying it because we did it, I would drive around in this one it's because there's so much room. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think he's going to be super impressed by that. What more can you ask for? So, hey. There you go. It's always a good time at old time. And I'm having a bad hair day. So that's it. See you later.